Okay. This might suck, but who cares? Hey. What's up? My people. They show me my level 14. Man, this bitch. I'm gonna do that um, cooking with Chef Chris thing. Um, I was gonna make a pizza, but I'm actually gonna make something. I could make that cherry a little bit now. I have an idea. I have the best idea. Hang on. Twinkies. <laughs> Twinkies in there, I forgot. Shit. Uh, mac and cheese. Yeah, I'm gonna make some mac and cheese. Fuck out of here, fucking plunger. Okay. Now. I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys how to do it on a stove. So, yeah. Um. I'm gonna do it. I don't really do this. But over there, you oil bitch. Okay. So, first thing you need for this, a package of it. Okay. Um, I, I recommend this kind because it has like some a cheese packet. I don't know if I know. Yes, I do. Not July, is it? Hold on. Nine more days. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so, okay, so let me, let me tell you about So what do you need? You need the shells for the, or you need the noodles for it, so this counts. Shells and cheese. Um, if you're doing it this kind, you can just use the cheese, the cheese packet that's in there, which I'll show you what it looks like in a second. Um, you also need this, if, if you want more cheese. Some milk. Let me open you. Let me just make sure it tastes good, though. I haven't had milk in a while, so hang on. Let me just taste this. It's still good. Good. So, yeah, you need milk if you want more cheesiness in it. I don't know if we have this fucking thing. Shit! Hang on. Wait. Shit. Ah, No, don't die on me. Hang on. There you go. Um, this is still good. I can't tell if this is good. Yeah, it's fine. Thank God. I got terrible. Okay. Um, if you want more cheesiness in your life, um, you also might need butter. Yes. You need butter. You need butter for more cheesiness, you know, whatever. Um, now, so yeah, those are the main ingredients you need. Well, I guess also some salt for some flavoring, I guess. Um, now, the things you need to do this. Do this. Yeah, do this. What? <laughs> um, it's not a fucking... Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay, they're up here. Um, oh, shit. This is a massive struggle over it. You'll need a pot with water. I'll put water in there right now. Hang on. So, you'll need hot water for this. Um, let me wait for it to become hot. <laughs> um, I'll tell you where to turn the stove on. So, hang on. It's bad because I didn't go to the bathroom. So, it might be Wait until this is hot, so if it's not hot, wait until it's hot, then you can, you know, do it. Don't turn this on yet, though. Don't turn the stove on yet. It's so bad. Okay. It's, it's getting hotter. Hang on. Okay, now. Okay, it's getting hot. Okay. Now, now you gotta fill it up a little bit. Hang on. Okay. If it's steaming, you're good. If the water starts steaming, like you know if that steam going out, it's fine. Doesn't matter. Okay. Um, you don't need a lot of water. You need like a. That's yeah, fuck. I'm just pouring just to turn it up. You need like you know enough so you can cover the shells with it. Just just enough. Um, but uh, here's another tool you might need. Um, uh, spoon. <laughs> Big ass spoon. 
now. I'm gonna do what my dad would do. Um, so, 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 so you turn, ow. <laughs> uh, you turn, um, the stove on, or whatever you're on, I'm on this side, so it's this lever right here. I, uh, turn it to six, because that helps a little bit. And, uh, of course, um, two seconds. Oh, come back. Hang on. an emergency. <laughs> ah! Sorry, I just burned myself. <laughs> um, I was trying to wash my hands. Sorry. Okay. Um, so yeah, you turn the stove on after you put water in it. So basically, so you, so you get a pot, put water in it. And you, I'll turn on the light here. Turn on the fan if you want to. It, it helps the steam get out of it when it starts steaming up. Um, I'm gonna turn this up to seven. <laughs> yeah, I'm turning this up to seven right now because uh, I wanted to, you know, fuck, whatever. <laughs> um, so yeah, you keep it like this. Uh, yeah, you just put, so you put the water in here and you wait for the water to start bubbling. And that's when you put this in. the cheese packet so you just take that out of the box you leave it there go, go away go away you don't need that yet <laughs> uh, I recommend cleaning up the sink so if your sink's dirty clean up the area where you're gonna put the strainer uh, this thing uh, just leave it in there until I don't know if you can see this, but um, it's starting to like steam a little bit. Um, that's good. And I'm just like, you need to like wait until it starts to bubble. Once it starts to bubble, you put the noodles in. Uh, yeah, this is awkward because I haven't done this before. Whatever. <laughs> I don't have a fucking plug to plug my phone in. This fucking core doesn't burn. Oh shit! Okay. Sorry. Okay, there you go. Oh my gosh. Fuck. Oh, what is my laugh? Okay. Okay, there we go. Fuck. Okay. Shit. Now. Hang on. What? Up your 
still very, you know, stuck with me because I think it's a fire, you know. And I don't have fire extinguisher, so I'll be fucked. So, yeah, it's doing pretty good, but it's not bubbling yet, so. Oh, wait, yeah, it is. At the bottom, it is. It's like this bubbles at the bottom. Um, I'm gonna wait just a little bit longer. I'm gonna die. Okay. <laughs> I'm like out of breath. Okay. I'm gonna put them in now. So, yeah, like once there's some bubbles at the bottom, you take the noodles and you just pour them in there. Okay. Like that. You pour them in there. Pause the box. <laughs> um, then I recommend um, moving them all under the water. And then. Okay, so you just let them sit there for a little bit. It's on seven, so it's gonna go really fast. It's gonna, the phone's gonna fucking die. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm like dancing. So, I'm, I'm just gonna stand here for you guys. So, it's, it's I, don't, I don't recommend doing this, like, you know, shaking it like this. Um, unless you wanna, like, you know, get water all over yourself. <laughs> And then obviously if, if water gets on there, you know, it'd be like this. Yeah, that will happen. <laughs> uh, yeah, it will start steaming like that. That's why I recommend keeping the little fan on up here. Um, this is low, I think. Yeah, this is low and up here is high. And in the middle it's off, so I'm going to keep it on the like this. And a light that's off. That's on. So yeah, just in case you don't know, I don't know how to use that. And um, I'm um, it's still so amazing. It's a frigid air, so yeah. And also the little dials are different for each one. So um, the one I'm using right now is like one. There's a little over right here. I moved it to seven. The other one right there is like it's pretty much the same, but it's up here, it's like up here. There's some bubbles in there. That's pretty good. Okay, um, and, and the one on this side, they're pretty much different. Except this one, this one, the one right here. It's for top, uh, top, uh, top boy over here. And the other one over here is for bottom boy right here. <laughs> uh, bottom right, there we go. <clears throat> the, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm using the bottom left because I always cook on this side. If you're trying to make two things of it, I recommend using both. And um, use it top so you use for the smaller pans, pots. Shit. That's not like some like something like this. Yeah, but I recommend getting like some you know good pots and pans before you start cooking. I recommend that. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna go into culinary in school so I might get better at it. So. <laughs> So like once it's steaming like this, it's pretty good. But if if it if this thing starts bubbling, like that's you know when you can know it's pretty much done. I recommend mixing it like this. Let's do it slowly though, because then it will go easier. And like and like right now here, you can put some salt in there, give it more flavor. But it, like once it starts like bubbling like this, that's when it's pretty much done. It's not right now; it's just steaming. It's just really steamy. And yes, you're get, uh, you're gonna get a hot steam right here, so it's fine. That's normal. If you get hot while sitting here, it's fine. I should have mixed the seasoning in. And plus, you can like kind of touch them to see if they're done. But they're not. They're still hot. They're, they're, they're still hot. Yeah, they're still hot. I guess I'm more experienced now, I can use seven minutes. That's also, well, that's most people want to cook fast. Um, yeah. Uh, so it's starts getting like, like the, like the bubble thing gets crazier and crazier. That's when you can put it in there. It's not right now, it's just, like I said, steaming. You just, what, steam? Mm. And, but, and plus you can tell, because, the water looks like it's bubbling. It's not right now. I, oh, there's some bubbles being formed, but they're. 
can kind of tell if they're soft. I guess, get, I, I guess if they stick to the wall, that could count. I don't know. I'm just gonna mix it a little bit. Hang on. Don't do it fast, unless you want the water to be like, you know, shit. Because <laughs> like I said, the water burns on there. So it becomes more gas and more. I don't want your fucking fire alarm going off. <laughs> yeah. We know we don't have fire alarms anymore. We got rid of ours. Because they kept going off for no reason. <laughs> Yeah, there's like, uh, um, if you're using the oven, come down here, I recommend you use uh, this light up here to see what you're doing. It's more useful than anything. Like, so if you just turn it on, you can see what's going on down there. <laughs> I think you use uh, the stuff right here, like in the middle, where it says frigid air. You, uh, you use that to do this. And obviously if you're using, if, if, um, if you're using this, you're going to use it. Sure, though. You don't have to. I feel bad for you. Okay, so I'm starting to bubble a little bit. If it's starting to bubble, then you need to feel it. Just try. I don't know how you feel it. Yeah. I should have got it. Well, you need a fork anyway. Okay, yeah, it's bubbling like crazy. Okay. 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 I think it's good. Yeah. So, like, once it starts bubbling like crazy, you can probably tell. Um. Ow. Sorry. I burned myself. You can kind of tell. Like, if it... Like, if, if you push it down and it starts getting smushed, then, yeah, they're done. It's like two, three more seconds because I won't. I need it for a while. I'll save it like that. It doesn't taste good. <laughs> okay. Like once it's done, like you know, bubbling, you just do that. Turn it off. Um, I can't record this part. Here. With the oil. And then you, you know, you move it over here, and then you pour it out. Pour the, pour the water out. What? I can't! There we go. Once the water's pretty much gone, you pull it out. Shit! <laughs> uh, don't do that! Oh, don't break your fucking faucet! <laughs> Shit! Put this back on there, by the way. Let me see. After it's in the strainer, you can just try to get the rest of the water out. And then, once this is empty, you put the noodles back in. Not on the fucking stove, you moron! That, uh, that will happen. Don't get mad and cry about it. That happened a few times. Alright. Now let's put it back in. So yeah, you put it back in there. Milk. I gotta get my mom some milk afterwards. Butter. Uh, a spoon for the 
chocolate butter. I almost killed myself. I almost died. <laughs> Sorry. Um, then you get a spoon of butter. Oh my god. Okay, then you get the spoon of butter. So then you do this. You take the packet, you open it up, and then you put it. Oh, you push it out. Oh, if you get sensitive to disgusting stuff, I'm sorry. This might look nasty to you, but... Oh yeah, make sure this is in day two, because if it's not, then you're fucked. <laughs> you're gonna die. <laughs> cheese, but you so, so, so after that's done, like, if you put all the cheese in, um, take, take your butter. I'm dying over here. Uh, you take, take a spoon full of it and knock it in there. I'm pretty sure it's still good. My mom would know. Uh, if I find the date, I'm gonna kill myself. Date I'm lit. Fuck. There's no date on the way. Whatever. <laughs> it didn't taste bad to me. So make sure your butter is in date. So. And then after that, you take the milk. Pour it a little on there. And how's he put it back in the fridge? It's fucking fucking the camp. It get bad. And then the fun part. You mix it all up. Like this. You mix it all up. But you gotta mix it really, really good. So just like this. You mix it all up like this. So you put it back in here, you put all the ingredients back in there, and then you mix it all up like this. My hand cramps up a lot. You know, I probably have carpal tunnel, but who cares? <laughs> so yeah, so we have carpal tunnel, let someone else do this for you. Okay, let me make sure this will be painful. I feel like I have carpal tunnel. I need a, I'm gonna go to the hospital and probably ask him if I do. So I do it for like a good few minutes. After it's good like that. If it looks really cheesy, I'm pretty sure you did it right. You should. And then you grab a bowl. And you. This is the sexy part. Okay, this smells. Okay, it smells fresh. We're good. I, re I recommend smelling it first. Because if it doesn't smell good, then you pretty much fucked yourself. And you do this. You pour it. I'm a natural at making this, so it's okay. Keep pouring it. I got my mama glass of milk after this. Okay. There we go. Then you put it in the sink. Obviously, oh shit. Uh, now the strainer you put away, unless you want to clean it. Um, yeah, it's been used a lot. Put it back in there. Um, get this last fucking thing off my fucking thing. Do that. You soak them. You, you soak that, that way it's easier to clean if you don't have a dishwasher. Um, and then you use the salt. Put the salt and put it all over it. And then you mix it up. Yeah, then, then you mix the salt up with it to give it more flavor. But if you don't, then it might taste like shit. So it just tastes like cheese. And if you're lactose intolerant, don't do this. <laughs> it's pure cheddar cheese, so yeah. Pure diarrhea. <laughs> and then after it's done, shut up. You turn off the light. And then you taste it. I'm gonna taste it for you guys. Oh my god. That's good. So, guys, if you do like me, you're gonna get this kind of taste. Hang on, I'll explain it. This seasoned cheesy noodle, it's a cheesy shell. The seasoned cheesy shell. 
And if it tastes like that, you're good. So yeah. That's how you make mac and cheese, guys. And that's the first episode of um, Cooking with Chef Chris. <laughs> yep. I did the idea right now, so why not? Whatever. Who cares, right? <laughs> bring the milk up to her and I'll bring it give it to her in a glass I guess um but yeah that's how you make mac and cheese guys this is really fucking good but you can tell if it tastes bad though which it doesn't tastes good it's cause the butter gives it like more okay so the butter makes it the cheese more creamier yes I said that creamier and the milk adds more cheese into it. So basically, doing it with a packet, it would be like normal cheese. Milk, more cheese. Butter, it adds more creaminess to the, the cheese. You add it all together, you get creamy cheese with like really good tasting butter, basically. Yeah, that's what you do. It's really good. Um, you want, what? In a second. Um, but if you guys want to know where I got it, hang on, this fucking thing is being evil. <laughs> um, I'm just going to turn on the light here. If you guys want to know where I got it, um, I got it from, uh, from Kroger, so. If you want to get the shells and cheese I used, then you get that. But if you're doing it the normal way with the other one, you, you use milk to make the cheese and you mix it all together, basically. It's basically the same thing, but you just use milk and the powder to mix it all together. So, it's pretty much the same thing. Except so you don't have the packet. You just gotta make, the che you just gotta make it yourself. It's, it's like this, you don't even need milk. But the other one, like the other kind, the original kind, you need milk. So, so yeah. I'm gonna go get my mom the milk. I'll come back down here.
Anyway, people. Is this still, is this still hot? Yeah. Okay, there's one part that was a little bit hard, but it's fine anyway. As long as there's any part that doesn't crunch, then you're okay. So it's like that one I just ate was kind of raw, but it's fine. It still tastes good. Okay, but anyway, guys, um, I, I should probably give a rating. Um, for me, I pretty much give this a nine out of ten. It was only a nine because of that crunch part, but that's fine. Um, so. Now you guys know how to make it. And like I said, this is the this is the end of the first episode of Cooking with Chef Chris. Um, yeah. Next video is going to be what my dad makes. Chorizo. Nigger beans, black beans. This is stuff for a taco. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be the egg, chorizo, and bean taco mix. That's what we want to call it. And 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 you can eat that normally too, but that's gonna be the next video. Yes, it is. And then I really keep like suggesting me some stuff to make, so. Now, what should I make next, guys? After the egg chorizo and black bean uh, taco mix. Uh, actually, I guess I have to, how to make a sandwich. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah, just tell me what to make in the comments below. I want this to be a good series. Because I might get more ingredients for food. And I'll do it more. Another crunchy part. Oh, God damn it. It's fine. But yeah. Um, um, yeah, so that's the end of the video. Um, hit this, if, if, if that's the video, hit this if you didn't. Hit the subscribe button and bell to see more videos. Um, do the stuff. <laughs> um, and the the bell while she joins the sick words army. Um, share this video with your friends, people, your mates, niggers, lads, uh, your bitches, your titties, your family members, your white friends, black friends, Asian friends. <laughs> I keep laughing every time I say that. In your titties. <laughs> um, all the social medias would be in the description if there was one. Um, my Twitter and Instagram are both Marlo14. Instagram is lowercase and Twitter is uppercase. Do the Comic Club stuff too. They have a Twitter and a Twitch. Their Twitter is a Comic Club 1. And their Twitch is a Comic Club 5243. That's also their channel name. Subscribe to that channel because they need more subscribers. We do because I'm, I'm on that channel. Um, this might come out before the hate com the reading comments video, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I'll probably upload them both at the same time, but probably this one first because <laughs> this one's better than the other one. Uh, sorry, I'm just, I'm just hungry. Um, uh, subscribe to him at Squid and Endo Lord and Thunder God if you want to. Mostly time with Squid because he's a because he's thick. But like he said, he needs to get another hard drive, so give him a second. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know. Um, stay amazing. Miracle about the book, and it's okay not to be okay half up. But most of the damage, no. Okay, um. 
two questions actually. Um, so, how do you guys like the series so far? The Cooking with Chef Chris series? Tell me that in the comments. And, um, honestly, I, I told you a second question. What would you want me to make next if I do this again? Like, after the egg, chorizo, and black bean taco mix. What should I do next? And you can also tell me um, what video I should make next. Either the fan mission or second story or gameplay. Answer those three questions in the, in the comments below. Also, hi, and Lord and Thunder God. Okay, um, I'm gonna go enjoy this masterpiece I made. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna go enjoy this. Better than devour the fucking shit out of it. I'm gonna have the shits tomorrow, but who cares? <laughs> I don't care. Um, <laughs> it's fucking worth it. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, see you guys next video. God damn, it's so fucking creamy. It's so creamy and amazing. <laughs> Please do this, guys. It's so creamy. <laughs> I'm such a perv.